Hey, hello and welcome to another video. Yes, the genie is out of the bottle. It is 1001 Arabian Nights all over my car. Here you can see it. Sahara sand fell on the car. It's been raining a bit, but it's still on there. Very annoying. On the other hand, also very beautiful. Let me know where you are from. If you're yeah, from a region where you've also seen these beautiful colorful skies, is it much worse on your car? Yeah, uh, today I'm in a situation where all the car washes are constantly taking. It is very annoying. And yeah, what if you just want to clean this uh, fast without constantly going to the car wash? And especially this, this automatic car wash, which just rubs Sahara sand all over your car again from the one million cars that go through it. In this video I want to try if I can use a waterless wash, the cheapest waterless wash I could find on the internet, and see if we can clean this. If you're new and you like this type of content, Subscribe, let's go. And here on this curved area, you can see it very well on the roof. So here, huh, Sahara sand all over the place. If you don't clean this and uh, you leave this, you could uh, really scratch your paint. It could also burn in, make it much worse. So whatever you do, it needs to be removed. And um, here you can see also the coloration. So for this experiment I will be uh, sacrificing my own 2020 Opel Ampere Chevy Bolt TV. Oh shit, my microfiber tiles. Verdammt. And just make sure you bring a lot of uh, microfiber tiles because you're gonna need them to clean this car and make sure you don't scratch it. I have found a while ago, just under 10 euro, the Michelin Netoyant 101 Special Carrosserie, which is a waterless wash. I found it on Amazon for just under 10 euro. Uh, maybe it was a promotion, but yeah, let me know um, which one you have good experiences with. And we're going to be trying this all over the car to see if we can remove this Sahara scent. Supposedly it should also leave a uh, protection layer, uh, yeah, which will make the car shine. Very skeptical whether this will work, but uh, yeah, let's give it a try together. So to make this project a bit more exciting, I've made myself a very professional uh, car detailing before and after section, which I separated uh, very nice with tape. Uh, yeah, to give you an impression uh, what it looks like once it's been cleaned. Session. So I have shaken the product well, and now I'll be applying a rich layer of this Michelin Saint Ol Nettoyant. Let me know if you're French and you've used this Michelin and you have good experiences with it. I have tried it, uh, oh, I have tried to use it myself to clean my wheels, waterless in my uh, shed. Uh, yeah, it was all right. It doesn't have the strongest cleaning capabilities. But, oh wait, you can already see. Okay, it starts to attacking the sand a bit, that's good. We'll let it sit there for maybe a few seconds and then we'll take it off. So let me know how your weekend is going. Will you be working on your car? Do you also have a lot of Sahara sand? Um, yeah, I hope it won't come back again. But uh, I guess that's just one of the beautiful things of nature, right? I mean, it comes, it's very beautiful, the sky. But then the next day you have to do this. So I take one of my microfiber tiles, I fold it in four pieces, in quarters. And then I wipe it. So yeah, sehr schön. And then I lift it up like this and actually if you look at it here I have a whole clean track here and I don't see any wait I want to see I don't see any more sand on here no oh, that's actually quite nice it feels smooth let me do the rest also I still have this part is still clean I'll wipe it again so I have not so much pressure I just yeah I just wipe it off a bit. It's still clean. So, you can see the sun reflecting on there. I don't think I have made any scratches. It looks fine. And now I take a part which is uh, dry and I just buff it off. So, yeah. Wow. Actually, uh, it's not so bad. Yeah, I mean, this could be a solution if you really do not want to stand in line at the car wash yeah you just want to you imagine you're traveling and you have this right you want to get rid of it so like this 
you could easily just take this with you and do it on the go. And uh, based on what I'm seeing here, it's quite nice. Let me know what you think. Is this something you would consider? I think I will actually uh, keep on buying a uh, waterless wash and have it in my car just for these type of things. Uh, because yeah, I think it just helps if you can clean your car safely on the go. Yeah, and maybe you do not always want to go to the car wash or you cannot always go to the car wash. I'll continue with the rest of the car and I'll check in later with you to show you the final result. And here we have another shot with before with plenty of Sahara sand, not so, uh, not so nice. And here the result we've done. Let's continue and do the whole car. I have decided that uh, I will spray half of the car and then take it off and then do the other half. I think that's good. I want it to sit there for a little bit to soften uh, the Sahara sand and uh, make it uh, safer to remove. Yeah, and I also find it uh, quite nice to use this stuff to remove, let's say, bird poop and uh, insect, uh, insect spots. Uh, cleans it rather well and protects it also, it's not so aggressive. And I think I have discovered a good tip is to just spray a couple of sprays in your towel before you actually start to uh, remove the Sahara sand and all the dirt. See, and then you just go like this and you scoop it up at the end. And then it gets super clean and has a nice shine. Yeah, and there will indeed be some spots uh, that are really dirty that need a second pass. Uh, and yeah, look what's coming on this towel here. So just make sure you keep on folding it in quarters so that every time you have a clean piece, yeah, take as many of these as you can because you're gonna need them. Yeah, and if you're gonna be cleaning this Sahara sand, make sure you also spray these strips where the sand gets in. And then take a fluffy microfiber towel, this is actually a drying towel. And then you can just scoop that dirt right out. And then also these door liners uh, remain very clean. Zashun. So I have just a little bit left. So I'm also going to spray this on the window for a quick wipe down. And then I'll show you the final result. Yeah, so far I can say I find it quite a uh, satisfying experience, knowing that I can do this everywhere, anytime. Uh, yeah, you can just put this in your car. I think it's really good if you go on a road trip, let's say on a summer vacation to Italy, eh, and your car looks like a nightmare and you want to keep it looking crisp for uh, Bella Italia, and uh, that, 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 that it shines nice here, like Snow White or whatever you call your car. And uh, yeah, this you can just pack and you can just do it everywhere. So I find it very nice. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then when you're done, it's good to just give it a, maybe a final buff on some spots with a clean towel. And uh, I would describe this, it feels relatively soft, I must say. Not as soft as with a uh, Carnuba spray on wax, but still uh, quite nice. So here is the final result. I managed to do the whole car and used exactly half a bottle. I would say my car is compact mid-size. Opel Ampere E, Chevy Bolt EV. Half a bottle of this, that comes down to five euro. And I think that's, uh, that is a perfect price point uh, for uh, yeah, a value added uh, service like this that you can do yourself wherever you want. All the Sahara scent is gone. Okay, car is of course not as clean as if you were to take it to a hand car wash or automatic car wash but you cannot see any dirt also when you get close to it the car shines really nice i'm quite happy with uh, the result and uh, yeah i definitely uh, will be uh, buying something like this again no more sahara sand i also put it on the windows that came out really really nice and clean i'm quite happy with this door liners the strips here it was very dirty, it's all gone. And an area what I also really like about this is that uh, yeah, it's uh, safe to use. Uh, so I used it also here on the inside. I mean, it, it was very dirty there in the beginning and now it is uh, all clean. So yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite happy with the result. What I don't like about it, um, yeah, it is a bit, uh, okay, it is a bit uh, transparent. Uh, so sometimes on a white car, I think it's difficult to see where you're spraying. 
maybe a nicer scent. I would have liked that uh, it doesn't smell like anything, but you know, just for the experience. And uh, also, um, yeah, because it is a, a mist spray, yeah, you should really do this uh, somewhere where there's not too much wind. Would be nice if you can adjust, adjust the spray, huh? whether you want a direct spray or whether you want to mist. Uh, but these are just a few minor things. So let me know if you would use something like this. Huh? Do you, have you used this Michelin saint Ol Nettoyant waterless wash? What is your favorite waterless wash brand? Write me in the comments. I'm keen to give it a try. I'm quite enthusiastic. It was not a sponsored video. Full disclosure, this is my own risk and my own idea with my car. I always wanted to do it, but uh, for me it's a recommendation. Wishing you a fantastic weekend uh, with nice weather and nice driving. And please subscribe and see you in the next video. Auf Wiedersehen!